Okay, so this is the now you try. Um, van of mass 1,250 kilograms tows a trailer of mass 250 kilograms along a horizontal road. Driving force from the engine is D newtons. And the van experiences air resistance 300 newtons and the trailer experiences air resistance of 100 newtons. If the acceleration of the van and trailer is 2.4 meters per second squared, calculate the tension in the tow bar between the van and the trailer. Calculate the driving force D. Okay, so let's get our sketch right. So we'll have our trailer on the left, we'll have our van on the right. So I'm going to label those T and V. So the van is 1,250 kilograms. The trailer is 250 kilograms. So I have a force acting down on each of 1,250G and 250G. There's no other forces acting up or down. So I've got a re normal reaction on T and normal reaction on V. Always a good idea getting all the forces in, regardless of whether you're going to use them. I have a tow bar between the van and the trailer. I have a driving force on the van. of D Newtons. I have an air resistance on the van of 300 Newtons. And I have an air resistance on the trailer of 100 Newtons. Maybe this question should be stating that there's no friction um, but I think we can assume that because it's it's not mentioning it. Okay, so I have a tension pulling backwards on the van, and I have a tension pulling forwards on the trailer. So these are the forces acting on the van. These are the forces acting on the trailer. I can either take the van and resolve forces, I can take the trailer and resolve forces or I can deal with it as a complete system. I know the acceleration is 2.4 meters per second squared in that direction. Okay, so I'm being asked to find the tension, I'm being asked to find the driving force. Okay, so I've got, a, I've got a, a couple of options here. I suppose I could take the whole system and then that, that would give me forces without tension. I could find D. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to resolve at T. I'm going to take this part of it here. I'm going to say at T. I'm going to resolve to the right and I'm going to do Newton's second law. Okay, so I've got T minus 100. These two forces have no effect on this system. <clears throat> uh, because they're uh, perpendicular to the direction that we're resolving, so they have no effect that way. So I can completely ignore those two. But T minus 100 equals mass, which is 250 times acceleration, which is 2.4. So T is equal to two fifty times two point four plus one hundred seven hundred newtons. Okay, so that's the tension in the tow bar. Um, so I now need to find D. So I think the sensible thing to do here is to do at V. I'm going to go to the right and again I'm going to use Newton's second law. So this time I've got D minus T which is 700. I found my T. Minus 300 equals mass 1250 times 2.4 
2.4 so I can solve for D there so that's going to give me 1250 times 2.4 um, plus 1000 isn't it 4000 <coughs> there but uh, you can see what I was doing there was D minus 700 D minus T which is 700 minus 300 equals mass times acceleration I've solved for D so that's 4000 okay so that's your solution to that one